positive bunny. Right, let's get it on. Coach Helen for You Fit Studio, talking about why we take the easy path. Oh, so following the path of least resistance, right, is a habit that we have all built up over time. So as always, I can hear you in your heads asking the question, why? Why would anybody talk about this? Why would, we, why would anyone take the easy path? Because we do. Um, we love a good easy path. Uh, we love to cut corners. We love to run the short race, right? Play the short game. Still on theme. Still on theme this week. I'm still on theme. Uh, we like to get things done, right? And that means that sometimes we'll take the easy path to get there. Either consciously or unconsciously, uh, we'll take the route of least resistance because that is how we're actually geared to behave as human beings to some degree, right? And some of you might go, no, that's not me. Might not be, it might be a reason why it's not you, but I will go through predominantly the reason why often we are wired, right, to go for the easy route. Now, it goes far back as, don't make me put a date on it, because you know what, I'm like, numbers a long time ago, far, far, far away in many years, um, hunting and gathering, uh, was was no difference because actually, and I've talked about this in life before. I've talked about the low hanging fruit. Now, those of you in the corporate world will know that mean, that means something else in the corporate world, the low hanging fruit, right? But this, this the terminology is correct because um, it still talks about the easiest direction. So whenever you hear somebody say, if you're in the office, if you don't work in office, you don't know this language. I apologise. This is the office of uh, I have another, I have another terminology that's less polite, but it is the corporate l lingo. Uh, <laughs> Have a very inappropriate way of talking about it. However, you go into any corporate meetings and talk about let's let's talk about the low hanging fruit that we can uh, we can eradicate now. Now, and that always means the easiest things that we can do first, right? Now, the same comes from the fact that if you're hunting and gathering, uh, the low hanging fruit, right, were the easiest picks. Now, uh, essentially, I talked about the same energy before. Uh, if those apples are, are hanging low enough, we are going to go for them because they're easily accessible. We can hunt and gather or i.e. take the easiest route with little resistance, no real thought process, it's just there. Now, I used the same analogy before and it still stands, uh, just because they are the closest to you or the easiest accessible apples, right, it does not mean, stick with me, does not mean that they are necessarily the best. They might not be the best, they're just the easiest accessible. They are the path of least resistance to get to what you want, an apple or if you're looking at weight loss or health goals, the low hanging fruits or the very easily accessible routes to get you what you want to go for are, are designed or shown to be easily accessible or the least resistance and right there for you to take, right? So what do we do as humans? We gravitate towards them because we believe them to the path of less resistance to get us with what we want to get to. Now, again, same principle when it comes to health and fitness, that approach may not be actually the best or most efficient for you as an individual. However, it is in that moment of time, the most accessible. Do you get where I'm going with this? <laughs> if you don't, I will tell you now anyway. So, <laughs> it, it, it may not be the most efficient approach. Um, and what it requires is more insight and more um, ability to look beyond the most easy, easily accessible uh, roots and look to the harder, uh, I want to say the harder fruit, <laughs> it's true though, uh, to look for the apples that are least accessible, right, those higher hanging fruit that actually might be bigger, more tasty, right, so in the analogy of health and fitness, they may be um, elicit a larger uh, fat loss if that's what you're looking for, they may elicit a uh, greater amount of maintenance or knowledge or skills, right, that they just require more from you to get to it. Now, using the same analogy, I'm guessing you're probably going to have to get a ladder. If you didn't have a ladder, you'd probably have to climb a tree. If you're going to climb a tree, you'd have to get something to throw it at the apple, right? Knock it out. Now, same principle. Again, stay with me. Thought of this all on my own. The same principle still applies for um, a weight loss goal that requires more from you to do first. So most people using the same, same thought process, right, I'm going with, will just go, there it is. I have it. Now, ultimately, it may be that you need to do another step to get that or elicit that response, right? Or elicit that outcome, whatever you want to call it. It may be the equivalent of your ladder 
might be that you have to take more time to do something. It might be that you having to climb the tree is you having to actually take an actual task and time and add them together. You chucking something still might be you chucking something at the end of the day. However, it's whatever's going to create an additional step into the process to get that response. Now, ultimately, if you think of if what I'm talking about and, and this, the, the um, process of this and apply that to anything that you might have so far learnt in your journey, or if you haven't, then, then this is a good thing to, to understand now. If you think about anything, if you're listening or watching this, where you've learnt so far on your journey, how many steps you have to put into to place to get something, you will know from experience that you got more out of it, right? It took more time, it took more effort, it took more uh, leverage, right? It took more passion. Uh, if you want to use the word motivated, you know how I feel about it. I'm going to keep saying it. If it took more motivation from you, if it took more accountability, if it took more of your daily habits to get to it, you got more out of it. If it took, I don't know, more passion, more blood, sweat and tears, what is always the outcome? More. You get more back. It's the same, right? Oh, it's the same. You get out, we put in. <laughs> classic i've gone back it this is what happens going back and talk now i keep throwing out classics my mother is so happy somewhere right now i'm saying all the stuff i used to say however <clears throat> she was right say that like this oh she was right hey nice reading. she was right okay so again it's there's two ways of approaching this right if you look at your health goals it's either the path of least resistance or the low-hanging fruit where you get a result right but it's very very successful very short-lived uh, let's face it, if the apple's that low, it's probably hanging because there's a bread off, right? So it doesn't last for very long. However, if you get, if you put more in or put more effort into going for the harder wins, right? The harder um, habits, right? The harder things for you to change, the things that make you more uncomfortable, you are reaching for the, he the higher, right? And bigger fruit in that analogy. You are looking to push yourself out of your comfort zone. I think your results, right? So again, go about this, I made this next point, right? So these results are based on those choices. Your results are always based on those choices. Now we make them all the time. Do we go for the easy choice? Like we, we look at the, our, our results. If you ever have to ask yourself this question, right? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna ask you now, right? Are you, right, if you're honest with yourself, really, really honest with yourself, you have to ask yourself, are you getting average results right now? Average results, right? Mm -hmm. Average might mean anything that's been sealed to me. Average, right? Average results. Are they below average? Are your results below average right now? Or are they extraordinary results, right? Are you smashing out of the park? Now, you've got to be really honest with yourself, right? If I'm having average results right now, am I really pushing myself to put additional work in to reach for the, the stuff that's out of my, a little bit out of my reach? Am I pushing myself? Am I taking too easy a path? Am I choosing to take an easy path when it comes down to it, right? Or I'm above average. Maybe I'm pushing myself a little bit. Maybe I've been down this road a little bit longer, made some easy choices before, understood what that means, trying to make some medium harder ones. Or if you are genuinely getting an extraordinary result, then you, you will absolutely know what I'm talking about right now because you've probably had to make hard and heavy choices consistently right you've had to make things harder for yourself to elicit more to get more of what you're looking for um at the end of the day extraordinary results require the better fruit right that is the end of the day then it's the magic i'm going all i mean i'm on apple now i've been talking about so much by the by however if you want the extraordinary results you've got to reach higher and work harder it sounds simple and yet that's why we so often go for the easier route the path of less resistance right so if anything's going to bear with you the question you have to really ask yourself is what is it that you have to do differently all right or what is it that you have to make harder to get more of a result because if you know in your head right now that your results are below average you know that you are only reaching so far right you are taking the path of least resistance you are trying to make it easier for yourself and understandably so in the climate of everything else that's quite hard and difficult at times does it make sense to reach for the easier path and opt for the easier path? Yes, it does. And by the way, I'm not saying that <laughs> even the easier route doesn't elicit a result. It does. However, the, the balance is there, right? If you're 100% always going easy and 100% 
not pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and 100% not reaching further, are you actually doing yourself a disservice because you know somewhere you could be pushing more, you could be pushing that down so maybe I'm only taking the easy option 70% of the time, 50% of the time, right? If you're someone who has an extraordinary result, you already know that you probably take the easy path about 20% of the time. You still take it because you still get the result, right? But you know that the rest of the time you're taking above average and extraordinary choices sometimes in terms of difficulty, right? To get what you're looking for, to take the path of most resistance, right? This is the reality of it. And I've probably never spoke about it as bluntly in black and white as this, although theoretically it is, well, not theoretically, it is, it is correct. <laughs> it's not theory, it's fact, right? <laughs> Try to downplay the fact, I know it's a fact, right? But at the end of the day, you have to make extraordinarily hard decisions and choices sometimes to get a extraordinary result. Because this is the questions you have to ask yourself. So you're going to repeat it again, because it's super important. So are you getting average results? If you're honest with yourself, are your results average right now, right? Are they above average, right? Yeah, above average. Yeah, you're good. You know they're not extraordinary, right? And if you're making, if you know your results are extraordinary, hands down, right? You've got it plugged. So that's me. Do you want to go over on this one? Because I think I made a point. <laughs> I will recap it just for those who joined a little bit later. Because um, I always like to do that. Hey, Pooja Rana. Uh, seeing you join in there and hello to people joining on Instagram while well, I was in mid rant <laughs> I won't run again maybe maybe not um so part of least resistance we are geared we are wired to do this right we are wired to, to some degree to hunter and gather at a low level easy accessible get the food and get it done right so this is why we say low hanging fruit the part of less resistance is always a low hanging fruit now as humans unless you're living somewhere quite random, you are probably not going to be gathering fruit on a regular basis. However, we use the same principles as human beings in a modern world and approach things in very much the same way, as in we look for or hunt for sometimes the low hanging fruit with a lot of things we attempt to do in life and losing body fat or health and fitness is no different in what we're also wired to do. We look for the easy way, right? We look for it because we want to believe it, right? Why not, right? Because what we're wired to do, look for the low hanging fruit, take it, we get success, right? Now, the reality is, and I'll say it again, that low hanging fruit is not necessarily, in fact, mm, pretty much 100% of the time, is not as fantastic as the high hanging fruit um, that's up in the sun, right? Getting the best rain, getting the best rays, has the best nutrition, right? Has the best taste, and yet we're put off for reaching for it because it requires extra effort. And that's the same with health and fitness. Sometimes putting that extra step in is enough actually to stop us even reaching for the fruit. That's another point, right? Sometimes we think it's too hard to even do. So we don't, we don't even, we don't even go for low hanging. We go, oh, I'm put off already. It's too, too far away that, <laughs> right? In reality, it's not. It just requires extra effort, right? And I'm going to go back to that same question I was ending with. So ask yourself, are your results average? Are they above average or they are, are they extraordinary? So a long word. <laughs> it's time of the day. I can't believe I've got to say it a couple of times without getting it wrong. However, ask yourself those questions because if you know you're below average right now, you are either reaching for the too low hanging fruit or if not at all. Um, and actually it's about making it harder because oh, I'm going to go for that chestnut of a saying that we might get stopped all the time. You get out what you put in. And that is also true in this topic I'm talking about. So putting the extra effort in means you can reach for that higher fruit you can reach for that extraordinary result and actually get it right because again if you're somebody who already has that or has experienced that you know what you had to do to get there right it's a combination of yes yes of course go for low hanging fruit if it gives you a result of course right if it gives you a result know that though 100 percent of always doing that you'll also know that you'll get frustrated because you won't be getting the result that you think that you deserve from your effort or you think you would get from purely reaching for it. If you continue to push yourself and make it harder, you will get more back. Ta -da. Now, to Moz. Ooh, progress and, progress and seeing progress is tomorrow, right? May, may not change that one up. I've not made a decision yet. But that will be at five o'clock tomorrow. Uh, join me for that. Uh, I... <laughs> Since it's finished now, which is a shame. 
that uh, if you're watching me and listening to me, thank you rather than experiencing that. Um, but enjoy your evening and your day.